Okay, in front of me are a few more buildings, and then about five days of desert. Maybe six, maybe four, but it's a little too late in the day to make that happen. I don't know how far I'll get today. I'll probably just go until I don't feel like going anymore. So, away we go. Well, that's rain. It was coming down little by little and now it just just started. Um, what's funny is I don't see a lot coming down but underneath this you sure hear it. And then it stopped. Probably the smartest thing I've ever done on this trip is not walk today. I mean, I still want to do 15 miles, but I might camp here tonight. It stopped raining. Now the question is, am I going to leave? <laughs> because it's supposed to be kind of rainy for another hour, hour and a half. So... Making myself some lemonade. It's gonna be so tasty. So I just kind of stopped and had something to eat. Just the stuff I could grab. Didn't want to dig into the cart and pull something out. I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed that I'm walking so slow. <laughs> I've done three miles. That's that's not very many miles. I like this pie. I just identified something really obvious. My cart is heavy and I'm walking uphill. Heavy cart, flat ground, not a problem. Heavy cart, uphill. Oh, I'm using a little more energy. I'm using a little more energy than I thought I was today. It's dark. Oh, there's another raindrop. I don't know what to do about that because I need to keep walking. I've got 120 miles to go. Not tonight. I think I'm going to find the first place I can set up a tent and call it good. Ah, that's multiple drops of rain. Okay, 120 miles to the caverns, 133 to Carlsbad, which is where I get food again. So hopefully that 133 miles will go very quickly. Today, I think I knocked out six miles. Yep, this is, I better go quicker tomorrow. I've been up for, uh, well, I've been conscious for about an hour. And all that time, I've been thinking about this chocolate muffin. Mm. It's, a, it's a very quiet morning. There is, there's, there's some traffic about a car every 10 minute drives by. Other than that, I, I'm in the middle of nowhere and it's quite pleasant. But for right now, I'm gonna have this chocolate muffin. I think I'm gonna put some peanut butter on it. So I didn't film a lot last night because um, it would have looked like this. There was no radiant light, no street lights, no oncoming traffic, no buildings. And what I just realized 
is that this flashlight does not take batteries. I need to charge this. I really wish I had figured that out when I had outlets. I am just packing things up. It's about midday. I've had a nice, relaxing morning. Uh, the game plan is I'm gonna I'm gonna walk for an hour or two, stop and have something to eat. If I there's the mountains curve over here. If there is some shade, I will sit down then and enjoy some of that shade. Yeah, I guess for a camping spot it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was definitely safe. I don't think I was well hid. Oh, pavement. Glorious pavement. I should... Pavement. Glorious pavement. Last night, I said I wanted to walk 29 miles today. It's about 7.30, maybe a little later. So I don't know if I'm gonna get 29 miles. My legs are, a, they disagree with me a little bit. It's bright, I don't think my eyes are open right now. So I've seen this bend on the map, you know, for years looking at it, uh, planning a route and all that. And in my mind, I saw that little curvy train and thought, oh, that's, that'll be nice. I should camp right there. Cause that's going to be like a one mile stretch. No, this is like a 10 mile stretch. It's one of those things where a map just doesn't give you a sense of scale and grandeur that we're looking at. So, I got to the town of Cornutus. The restaurant was closed. The Google hours are incorrect. It actually shuts down at three o'clock today. So, I'm gonna keep walking for about a mile. Hopefully I'll find something in a mile. I'm going to sleep. It's fun waking up in the morning and, um, and seeing where you're at. So I'm looking at those rock formations. And I'm thinking, wow, they remind me a lot of Joshua Tree. But that is not Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree is across the street. That is the sheep hole wilderness. And funny enough, that doesn't remind me of Joshua Tree. But technically, that's where the border is. Well, I've got everything packed up and ready to go. Except my headphones are packed up in there somewhere. I'm debating if I'm going to get them or not. Well, I slept for 10 hours. I've meandered for about a half an hour now. I'm tired. I did 29 plus miles yesterday. I have less than two gallons of water. I would love just to stay here and sleep. But I don't think I'm actually going to get to sleep and I don't feel comfortable just camping out on whatever property this is.
my knee hurts. That was the weirdest thing. I felt fine, but I, I drank a little water. I chugged it a little bit. And um, it hit my stomach and it hurt. And I almost fainted. Um, and I have no idea why. I still kind of have a, a lingering discomfort in my stomach. It feels like I'm hungry. So I was thinking maybe I cook myself up a good meal right now. I've only gone a few miles this morning. Again, I was tired. But I still felt good. Making myself up some chicken and broccoli. I'm still tired, but not... You know, I feel... I just feel tired. I have no idea what's going on. I'm going to walk another three miles, an hour plus. And after that, I'm going to look for a spot to set up a tent. I'm going to try and take a nap. And I am going to try and take a nap and avoid the hottest part of the day. And then I'm going to hike from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And see how far I get. Well, that was fun. I just ran into this van full of Koreans who stopped to take my picture. They thought it was fun that I was walking across the United States. Thank you. You're, thank you. <laughs> set up my tent to take a nap and the wind came and I'm getting my tent again. Oh, hopefully I can take a nap and it will be agreeable. Oh, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Steaks. This is why we have steaks. Maybe I'll just put some steaks down. It really is quite peaceful, minus the cars. It really is quite peaceful out here. Kind of in the middle of a plain. There's mountains all the way around, but it's not really a valley. It's, it's just mountains at the edge of a the plain. There's the Guadalupe National Park. Looking forward to seeing that. But it's so flat, you can actually see the curvature of the earth a little bit. And the sky is so big. Anyways, in four miles, or when I get to the four mile mark, I'm supposed to be looking for one of the neighbors out here that might have some water for me. And um, I'm gonna need some water. I'm not going anywhere tomorrow unless I get some water. You have water? I have oh, I got lots of water. Oh no, no, no. I have... Are you sure? Oh yeah, yeah. I've got... I've got yeah, lots of water. It takes me six months from Florida too. Really? Very small bike. Oh my goodness. But I drive from Vietnam. <laughs> From Vietnam? Yeah, 42 country. No, you're kidding me. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm just walking. <laughs> yeah, I want yeah. to walk, but my leg is not so oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no. no that's... Yeah, so I need riding. <laughs> I love... No, you are more crazy than me. <laughs> it's okay, many people need it. Good morning. I'm just about to hit the road. Now, Google says I want to take that road, which is about a mile shorter 
Um, but as you can see, it's not paved. So, we're gonna be taking that road, which is Highway 62. Um, it has been, it was very quiet yesterday. It has, traffic has just started picking up this morning. But it should be reasonable. It should be reasonable. I camped. It's always nice waking up in the morning and figuring out where you were. I camped right over there. Made myself a wonderful little breakfast. Uh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and um, some cheese and broccoli and bacon. Mix it all up. Good, good breakfast. I am excited because in a few miles, I'm going to be at a gas station. So this last week was arguably what I thought would be the hardest part of this journey. And I am coming to an end on that. Uh, in retrospect though, it might have been the easiest part of the journey. Because stopping wherever I wanted and just setting up a tent, pretty easy. And as far as backpacking goes, I've done plenty of it. So. I don't know why I was worried about it. It was a bear to pull all that water. Uh, 64 pounds of water was a little much. I, yeah, I, I won't be doing that again. Actually, there's one more stretch that's going to be several, several nights. But I don't think I need to bring as much water for that next stretch. Well, that's it. I suppose I should be more concerned about this because it's going to be over 100 degrees today. I have no water and I have to climb 2,000 feet of elevation. Um, but I really think this is going to solve my problem. Kind of a cool day, but I still wanted some ice cream. Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh, Casey and Josh just saved me. They got me enough water to go most of the day. Well, they got me enough water to... <laughs> I won't die this morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Howdy! Oh, I'm doing fine. Oh my goodness. Man. Oh, that's perfect. Keep me, keep me going for today. Oh, I, I, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. No, don't be my life. Enjoy, thank you. Oh. I've got to take this sign off. This has been great. Man, this is this is more water than I want to carry, and they're flavored, so it's gonna be more delicious. This guy. Oh, I didn't even catch his name. Woo! Wow, thank you. <laughs>